Here we are given the derivative of some function. We have f prime of x is equal to 1 plus 3 square of x. And then we also know a point on the function, which is f of 4 is equal to 25. Our goal is to figure out a formula for the original function. Because we are given a derivative, we have to do the entire derivative so that we can get the original. But then here we have 1 plus 3 square root of x. We should look at the square root of x as x to the 1 half power. That way, we can use the reverse power rule. So let me rewrite the derivative f prime of x. This is going to be 1 plus the 3 states the same. But then we will have x to the 1 half power. And that's what we have. And we are ready to go. We are going to think this backwards, okay, to get the original. The derivative of what will give you 1? And the answer for that will be x, right? The derivative of x will give you 1. And now, for this part, 3 times x to the 1 half, we can use the backwards derivative uh, for the power rule. What we do is we add 1 to the exponent first. 1 half plus 1 is 3 half. Let me write that down on the top. That's the first step. You add 1 to the exponent when you want to do the derivative backwards for the power rule. And then you want to divide the new exponent. You want to divide by the new exponent. Dividing by 3 half, it's the same as multiplying by 2 thirds. You flip that. So I'm going to look at this as 2 thirds. Let me put that in the front. And as you can see, the 3 and the 3 will cancel each other out. What do we have? This is going to be plus 2. And then here we have x to the 3 half power. That's the entire derivative for the derivative right here. Okay. And then for the original, there is some unknown number that we don't know. So we have to put a plus c plus some constant that we don't know what it is yet. However, we do know a value f of 4 is equal to 25. That means if I plug in 4 into all the x, I will be able to end up with 25 for the y value. Because we know f of 4 is equal to 25, right? So I'm going to plug in 4 into all these x. So I'm looking at this as 4 plus 2 times 4 to the 3 half power, and then plus c. And you see this equation right here? If you solve for c, then you are done. <laughs> So we are talking about 25 equals to this is 4 plus, and what's this? What's 4 to the 3, uh, 3 half power? Let me do it on the side for you guys. 4 to the 3 half power. What we do first is we look at the half power because the half power means we take the square root of the base, which is the 4. And then at the end, you raise that to the third power. Square root of 4, of course, that would be, three, um, that would be 2. Raised to the third power, 2 to the third power, it's not 6. 2 to the third power is 8. So 4 to the 3 half power is equal to 8. I can come back right here. This is 4 to the third power. We know it's going to be 8. But then we haven't multiplied by 2 yet. Altogether, you get 16. Let me just write down 16. And we have the plus c. And you just solve this. This is 25 equals to 20 plus c. And at the end, you know that c will be 5. Right? c will be 5. Altogether, I want to find f of x. So f of x, this right here will be, this is the function part. But then we know now c is equal to 5. Right? c is equal to 5. So I'm done. x plus 2 times x to the 3 half power and then plus 5. This right here is the original function. And now that will satisfy the derivative and also that condition. That's it.